Just in case you've already forgotten or you missed it, last week we were in Luke chapter 8, verses 16 through 21, and we talked about lamplight because that's what Jesus talked about. I don't think it's ever happened to you that you've gone home one day and sat down in your favorite Lazy Boy recliner to do a crossword puzzle or to clip your toenails or to knit a bit, and all of a sudden you decided you needed some light, and so you turn on the lamp above your chair, and as soon as you turn it on, you take a big plastic bucket and stick it over the lamp. You've probably never done that, for very obvious reasons, because that would be bizarre. That's not how lamplight works. That's not the nature of lamplight. You don't hide lamplight. And that's what Jesus says in Luke 8, 16. He says, nobody lights a lamp and then sticks something over it, or you don't stick it underneath your bed, because it's the nature of lamplight to not be hidden. He also says that whenever you do use lamplight, it exposes everything that is hidden. That's just how lamplight works. Well, I think that Jesus is comparing this lamplight to his word, the message that he was giving. He was proclaiming the kingdom message he was proclaiming. And he was saying that it's the nature of his word to not be hidden. Although he had given some special revelation, some inside storylines to the disciples, his word was being broadcasted out to all the people and eventually would go out to the whole world because that's the nature of this word. He gives us some motivation and he gives us a warning about that we need to hear this word well. He says that for those who, who hear well, more will be given to them. But for those who don't hear well, who don't listen, who don't obey his word, even what they think they have will be taken away from them. Now this is pretty critical because we have to make sure that we hear the word of Jesus, the word of God, well. We have to, to linger in it. We have to listen. We have to learn from it. And we have to, to lunge toward it. That's how God's words work. And what happens is that lamplight, once it's lifted high over our lives, spreads light across our whole life. And eventually changes our life, our marriage, our family, and all the relationships around us as his word is lifted high in our lives and exposes everything that is hidden. Jesus knew how lamplight works, obviously, but he wasn't just giving us a lesson on lamplight. He was giving us a lesson on the, the need to really linger in his word. Now, he even redefines what his people are like in these last couple verses we looked at on Sunday. Verses 19 through 21 Interesting because these crowds are all pressing in on Jesus and his family's trying to get to him. And so somebody says to him, Jesus, your, your mother and your brothers, your family, they want to see you. They can't get to you because of the crowds. You would expect that Jesus would have said, well, clear the crowds. Get them up here. They're family. But that's not what Jesus said. He said these words. My mother and my brother are those who hear the word of God and do it. Jesus is still talking about the significance, the importance of hearing God's word, and he even redefines who the family of God are around those who hear God's word well and obey. When I was a kid, one of the fav my favorite lamps that we had sitting around was these bug zapper lamps. They were these lamps where the light would shine and light addicted bugs would come buzzing in to the chambers and you would hear this zap sound. Well, we know what that meant. That means they were done for. But there was something intriguing about this massive light that was drawing in all these bugs. Well, in an odd kind of way, the Word of God is like that. The Word of God is like a powerful lamp. And Jesus says we need to listen and linger and lunge for it and go toward it with all our might. Because as we go to the light, we don't get zapped in this life. We get changed. Whoa!